October 11, 2020. Sister Normal Russell, Lawrence Cook, Gary Hickman Mickey, brother of Sister Janice, brother Paul Smith, Evangelist Lorraine Young, brother Richard Henry had surgery, keep him in prayer. Brother Odell Sneed, mother Willie M. Thomas, mother Annette Gilbert, sister Rosa Waters, sister of Margaret Adams would like prayers of the church. Deborah Taylor Harris desires the prayers of the church family. Brother James Bell, 
Sister Bridget Sanders, keep her in prayer. Mother Odessa Livingston, keep her in prayer. Sister Vera Sanson, Sister Vernon Davis, and Sister Frankie Bell. Let's keep all of our sick and bereaved families in prayer. Continue to keep the entire church family in prayer. Continue to keep Brother Kenneth Murphy family in prayer. His service will be on the 17th. Zion Missionary Baptist Church Women and Girls Month Virtual Calendar of Events Sisters in Christ Supporting, Inspiring, Serving, Teaching, Encouraging, Respecting, Sharing Matthew 18 and 20 Carol Richard, October 10, 2020 Cancer Survivors Tea from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Whitney Hunt, October 16, 2020 Girls and Youth Conference, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Prayer, Praise, and Pampering. Linda Black and Kia Stevens, October 17, 2020. Women's Conference, 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Prayer, Praise, and Purpose. Reverend K.L. Hawkins, Senior Pastor. Sister Sermintia Griggs, Mission Ministry Director. Sister Gloria Marquez. Women and Girls Month Chair. All activities are free. However, to participate, register at thezionbaptistchurch.org. And your thought for today, the will of God will never take you where the grace of God will not protect you. Thank you. Amen. Can we say amen? Amen. Thank God for the announcements this morning, and we thank God for the Mooney family, and uh, we're praying uh, the Mitchell family on tomorrow at 11 a.m. Grace Eye service will be for Mr. George Mitchell in the Skyview Memorial Gardens. And those of us that know the Mitchell family, amen. Uh, Mother Mitchell was a faithful member of our church and this is her uh, last son that will be uh, finalized. Uh, in the Skyview Memorial Gardens. Let's pray for uh, the Mitchell's need family, amen, and Manon family, all that are tied up with Brother George. And on Saturday, which is the 17th, here at the Great Rising Star Church, we will have a memorial service for our brother Kenneth Murphy at 10 a.m. Amen. We ask that you arrive a little early because you will have to go through the screening. Amen. And you will have to wear your mask. Amen. Amen. And after that memorial, he will be transported to Bryan, Texas, his final resting place uh, in Bryan, Texas. So let's pray for uh, the Murphy family, his son and Isaac and, and uh, his sister Paula. Amen. Uh, and we're praying for that end time birthday family that you, church, we know that he was a faithful member of our church, but God is calling the role. He's calling uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Amen. But we want to continue to lift them up in prayer. Amen. And then I'm asking on Tuesday night that you will come. Amen. Parking lot prayer service at 630. Amen. Tuesday evening, a parking lot prayer service as we pray. Amen. We know that we are approaching the election. Amen. And we know that the virus is running rapidly. And I think if we just come and cry out to the Lord, amen, and tell him and ask God to continue to strengthen us and bless us. Amen. So many are, are leaving here one by one as we were at the graveside service for Sister Sherry Wilson's grandmother the other day. There's so many fresh graves in the cemeteries. Amen. And so one by one we're leaving here and we just ask God's blessings that he will continue to keep us in these last and evil days. You heard the announcements and you heard the prayer list and we're, we're yet praying for all of our seniors, amen. I understand Mother Atkins had a birthday uh, the other day, and we're just thankful that Mother Atkins is still with us. Amen. amen. That's Mother Ethel Jean Atkins, a longtime member here 
at the Greater Rising Star Church. So let's keep uh, Mother Atkins in prayer. We wish all of you that have a birthday in October, amen. We wish you a happy birthday and anniversaries and, and whatever. And, and uh, we want to continue just to lift up our church family because we stand in the need of prayer. Amen. I'm going to ask Brother Nolan if he'll give us a solo, amen, of his choice. I know he knows when I'm catching him off guard, but I know he knows the song. Amen. amen. Somebody ought to say amen. And amen. Then after, after the sermon, uh, uh, my daughter will come and bless our hearts also. Amen. amen. And we come to praise the Lord because he's worthy of the praise. Amen. We're going to listen to Reverend Nolan as he ministered to us in a song. Blessed assurance Jesus is mine Oh, what a fool congregation today. Uh, it's a good day. I said it's a good day. Amen. Amen. In the fourth chapter of Ephesians uh, 13 chapter, I mean the fourth chapter and the 13th verse, you will find these words. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man unto the measure of stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slate of man and cunning craftiness wherefore, whereby they lie and wait to deceive. Verse 15, but speaking the truth in love may grow up to him in all things which is the head even Christ and verse 16 from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplied according to the effectual working in the measure of every part maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love amen we want to talk for a few minutes this morning, a church growing in unity when God is the focus. Amen. A church growing in unity 
when God is the focus. To our God who is our creator and to his son Jesus Christ and also the Holy Spirit which is our keeper. Or oh, you can be kept by God. To all the saints of God and uh, uh, those of you that are in your homes and those who may be uh, here in the sanctuary, we have an opportunity to expound on God's word one more time. And I'm here to let you know we need to stay together in these last and evil days. I believe the Bible is being fulfilled. Every day that we wake up, there's something new. But I'm so thankful that the Bible teaches us that there is nothing new under the sun. Do I have a witness? Uh, my sisters and brothers, if it ever was a time that we need to stand together as a body of believers, the time is now. Because we are being attacked on every hand. We are still fighting battles, amen, from the White House. We are fighting battles, amen, of unemployment around this world. We are fighting the battle of hunger as many are still lining up to receive free food. But I wonder how many of us are lining up to receive God's word. Ah, a growing church has to stay together in unity. And we must stay together in unity until we come in the knowledge of who the church really is. We cannot grow unless we know for ourselves that we have been born again. For the Lord has been good to all of us. Do I have a witness? Yes, the Lord is still blessing us and he's blessing us right now. And I know that ah, he's passing blessed blessings right now. He'll bless you and he'll bless me. <coughs> Excuse me. God has been good to our church family. And not only our church family, but he's been good to the believers. Amen. To those that have been baptized and washed in the blood of the Lamb. Many of us have been down and we've been a little discouraged. But I'm here to let you know that we serve a God that says, I am God and God all by myself. If one could just focus on the church and we could walk around the church every day, I wonder will we still continue to be in unity. I remember as a boy growing up, on Saturday nights, we had to make preparation, amen, for church on Sunday. And uh, we had to lay out our Sunday clothes. And Mama made sure that uh, we were going to be able to go to the Sunday school. Our job is to bring all believers all right. uh, to the right knowledge of Christ our Lord. Because uh, when we were preparing on Saturday nights, we knew that we were going to be in Sunday school yes, and we were going to be taught the word of God. Mm -hmm. And whether we wanted to go or not, we had to go. But uh, Mama kept us in the fellowship and the unity of Christ. Ah, Jesus, I asked the question to Peter, who do men say that I am? And uh, this act of Christ, I can hear Peter saying, Thou art the Christ, right. the Son 
of the living God. I want to ask the question, do you know who he is? Have you had a relationship and do you have a fellowship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? To come into the unity of the faith, you got to know for yourself who the Lord is. Big Mama say he's a rock in a weary land. And I heard the old warrior say, bright and morning star. I heard I, that I heard someone say, when I get hungry, he will feed me. I heard somebody say, when he's water in dry places, he's all uh, that I need uh, to be in the unity of Christ. Uh, you better know for yourself. Uh, that you shall not be born again. Now, do you know him? And I'm glad that I met him a long time ago. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, and uh, since I met him, I, I'm going to, uh, each day I'm growing yeah. more and more like him. Uh, I learned uh, a long time ago uh, how to lean uh, and depend on the Lord. Uh, and I'm going to trust him uh, right. until the day I die. Uh, wow. I can tell somebody uh, that I know a man by the name of Jesus. Yeah. Uh, and when you are growing in the Lord, uh, wow. if the church uh, will just catch on fire uh, and testify and tell uh, about the goodness of our God. Uh, has he done anything uh, for anybody this past week? Uh, and if he didn't do anything, uh, what about this morning? Uh, I can hear the old soldier saying, uh, he woke me up this morning uh, because I was clothed uh, in my right mind. Uh, do I have a witness? Uh, the church uh, has to come together. Uh, we have to show uh, that we are knowing uh, that through God's word, uh, we will experience uh, some spiritual growth. Uh, do I have a witness? Uh, I believe uh, something uh, is about to happen. Uh, I believe uh, after November the 3rd, uh, God uh, is going to make our midnights uh, come today. Uh, do I have a witness? Uh, growing uh, in unity. Uh, what is unity? Uh, I'm glad you asked me. Uh, it's a condition uh, of harmony. Uh, we need some harmony uh, in our world. Uh, we need some harmony uh, in our homes. Uh, we need some harmony uh, in the church. Uh, the psalmist says, uh, Behold uh, how good and pleasant uh, it is uh, for brethren uh, to dwell uh, together uh, in unity. Yeah, Help me, yeah. Lord Jesus. Uh, as I preach your holy word, uh, unity uh, yeah. will give you some strength. Uh, yeah. Unity uh, will give you some power. Uh, right. Do I have a witness? Uh, if there is unity, uh, it should be seen uh, in the lives uh, of every believer. Uh, our life, uh, our words of truth uh, should come uh, and show uh, our relationship uh, with our Lord uh, and Jesus Christ. Uh, so many times uh, we are murmuring uh, about what we don't have. Uh, but have you ever uh, seen someone uh, thanking God uh, just for what they have? Uh, do I have a witness? Uh, we can't get uh, in the church right now. Uh, and I'm not worried, uh, but I keep trusting uh, and praying to God uh, to keep us uh, in the unity. Uh, do I have a witness? Uh, I know uh, for myself, uh, one of these old days, uh, we gonna rise, uh, we gonna rise again. Uh, do I have a witness? Uh, our lives, uh, uh, it ought to be good uh, in the eyesight uh, of our brethren. Uh, God uh, is going to do a work. Uh, yes, he is. Uh, 
our season is on the way. Church, we've lost some good folk. But God, I said God, said he's going to replenish what's been taken. Do I have a witness? I'm glad. I said I'm glad that when you read the word, you ought to study the word. You ought to be a doer of the word. You ought to let your light shine. So men, women, girls, and boys may see Christ in your life. I'm so glad I'm too close to turn around. I've come too far to lose what I have. What do you have? I got Jesus and that's enough. I got love and that's enough. I'm so glad. I said I'm so glad. I know who he is. Do you know who he is? He's our all in all. He's our hope for tomorrow. He's our all in all. Church, let us continue to stay focused. I heard my mother say many times, keep your eyes on the star post in glory. Don't you let nobody turn you around. The enemy is out to kill, steal, and destroy. He's out to steal our fellowship, our relationship, and our kinship. The Lord is, he's awesome God. And he's out and near. He, he, you can feel him even while you're at the house. Yeah. You can praise him while you're driving your car. Y'all, God wants us to continue to grow. This past week I've been listening to the late Bishop Patterson as he ministered last week. And he was talking about faith. Let me tell you something. You got to know that you know that you know whose side you're on in these last and evil days. I'm here to let you know homes are going to be better. Schools are going to be better. Church house is going to be better. We just have to keep the faith and continue to read God's word. And even though you're not in front of me, continue to strive to live a Christian life. Let me tell you something. I know I'm saved. Anybody else know you're saved? All right, let me tell you. Anybody know some Floyd Brooks know where I stand with the Lord? And they know where I stand with my football team. And I had so many folk last Sunday coming by me. They were standing together in unity. And I felt like I was by myself. <laughs> but at the end of the day, see, I woke some of you up now. At the end of the day, stand in fellowship with the Lord. Let me tell you something. I never have let go of my team. Even when they were 0 and 13, I never let go. I still say I love the Cleveland Browns. But after this past week, I think I woke up some Cowboy Nations. But let me tell you something. If we get more excited about Jesus, because yeah, yeah. he's our only assurance. Did you not know he, some of the football players, the teams can't even play this week because of the violence. It's not just attacking the church. It's attacking everything. But God heals our hope. May God bless you. May God keep you. I trust and pray that I said something today to help you along the way. No shape, form, or fashion. Just trying to give you some Jesus. If you're out of the ark of safety and you don't know the Lord, it's your time to get saved. Make it right with him. As we listen to this Selection, the doors are open. Better come in while you can get in. Ask the Lord to save your soul. There are some things. Say. 
anything.